fake the end around, throws the ball. It's tipped up in the air and picked off by John Franklin Myers. He picked off the intended screen, runs left to the 50, to the 40, all the way down to the Texans 37 before he's run out of bounds. John Franklin Myers read the screen, jumped up in the air and tipped Tyrod Taylor's pass, caught it himself and rumbled into Texans territory with a jet takeaway. JFM, you got off to a quick start this season. At what point did you become aware that your representatives and the Jets were close to striking a deal? Um, I, I kind of knew, um, you know, you hear the talks, but as a player, you know, on your contract year, or anytime those talks come up, you just kind of try not to focus on that stuff um, because uh, the product that you put on the football field is a reflection of the money that you'll get, obviously. So um, being in that position, I just try to make sure I put a great uh, product on the field and continue to do that, you know, and, uh, you know, put on for this team, put on for, for this organization because they deserve it. You got that extension in October right before you flew to London. What did that mean to you to get that? Oh man, I mean, obviously as you've seen in the, in the uh, interview with the tears, uh, just, just a, a great experience, a great opportunity to uh, get some stability for my family um, and for myself, for my mental uh, going forward. I think uh, all that is important, but again, I just owe the Jets so much and, and looking forward to my future here, looking forward to helping this team win the championship because again, they deserve it. They gave me an opportunity to feed my family and forever indebted to these guys. Now, you had a career year in quarterback pressure, sacks, and interceptions. What do you think contributed to your growth this year? I mean, a product of my environment. Again, I say it all the time. Like, you get out there with Sheldon Rankins and uh, Foley. Again, Foley got me like three of my sacks, you know, so uh, <laughs> credit to him. Uh, <laughs> I might owe him a couple of dollars, honestly, but uh, you know, uh, just a product of my environment. Again, Bryce Huff does a great job, Shaq Lawson. Now, how much do you think the defense will benefit in the long run from all the snaps that you guys got this year from young players? Oh, uh, what they say, experience is the best teacher. You know, I, I think uh, those guys, the, the reps that they have are meaningful and, you know, not to bring myself up, but just that experience in the Super Bowl that I had my rookie year just made me a better player, made me a better man. Um, and it made me a better teammate, you know, for these young guys. So uh, for them to see this and to see what we went through and to have something to relate to when we are winning and, and maybe teach those young guys when they are vets, you know, what they went through and talk to them about it and whatnot, I think it's just huge. The experience part of it is huge for these guys to uh, get reps while they're young. And, and I'm all for it, you know. Uh, there's learning curves in every aspect and every everything of life. So it's just another learning curve for these guys to understand the speed at which we play, the violence at which we play in the NFL. Have you thought about the potential of this D-line with Carl Lawson returning next <laughs> year and just kind of the next step you guys can take? Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think um, Carl Lawson, obviously, the type of season he had the year before last, and, and everybody's looking forward to playing with Carl. Um, and, and, you know, we'd be fooled to say that uh, that didn't hurt us. You know, we're not foolish and, and we understand that, you know, people had to make up for that and, and to understand that he's going to be back and uh, some, I know they're going to add some pieces in, in whatever form or fashion. So just to see even having Carl back is going to be huge for us. Q getting another uh, year in this system, me getting another year in this system, Sheldon, you know, hopefully we bring Foley back. I mean, these guys, this is our first year in the system. so. Um, you know, there's still a learning process for us, but next year we'll, we'll all understand the system a lot better. We'll all understand uh, how each other plays. Um, so, I mean, I'm just looking forward to the future to the, to the, of this D-line and of this team. You know, again, like young, a bunch of young guys playing, a bunch of young guys and, and getting meaningful snaps. It's only going to serve us well in the long run. Lastly, JFM, Coach Holla just finished up his first year in the NFL as a head coach. What did you think of the culture that he brought into the Jets this year? Uh, he's done a great job. Uh, the energy that he brings day in and day out, uh, just just the, the, the vibe is different you know, around here and, and everybody can see it, everybody feels it. Uh, you talk about what's going on and, and just how we talk in the locker room is different, you know, and that, that's just a test to him and the guys that he brought in, I mean, 
I mean, they do a great job uh, coaching us. They do a great job leading us. And then some of the guys they bring in um, just do a great job. Again, uh, uh, some of the leaders. I mean, I can't say nothing bad about this organization, these coaches. I mean, and these players, I mean, they just, they're doing a great job looking forward to Coach Salah again. It's a learning experience for him too. It's his first time being a head coach first year. Shoot, it only gets better from here. For sure. Thanks so much for taking the time, JFM. We look forward to seeing you next year. Oh, uh, thank you for the opportunity.